Legos are building blocks anyone can play with, but they can also be the building blocks of problem solving and creativity. WENY's Lindsay Madison attended the 15th annual Lego League Explore Expo. Kids use their creativity and problem solving skills to present their findings. Lindsay. Alexandra, the theme of the Lego League Explore Expo was super powered. I saw Lego models that looked like windmills and some were built to look like cars and even one had running water which shows what hydroelectricity is. And so the goal is to say not only can you do that with Legos but you can do that with science engineering. You can go out and solve the world's problems with, with more complicated Legos but it's, it's the same idea that you can build with uh, the tools we have to help build a better tomorrow. Members of the Cornell University Nanoscale Facility hosted the first LEGO League Explore Expo earlier today. FIRST is an acronym which means for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. The event took place in Duffield Hall at the university. The expo was a way for children to present their research with the help of LEGOs. So 24 teams from around Tompkins County and even beyond uh, were involved in working on a LEGO model based on this year's theme, superpowered energy in our society. Daniel Woody was the event organizer for the expo. He says the goal of this event is to get kids excited about learning new things. He says it's also important to get kids excited about inventing new things for the future. Woody says it's important to let kids know how much fun science and technology can be and how entering the STEM field is a realistic goal for children to have. Uh, it's Kids often dream of being a sports hero, but the reality of them actually doing that is fairly small. But they can have an even bigger impact, and the likelihood of being able to do that, to be an engineer or a scientist and impact the world, is so much higher. The team Lego Leopards from Vestal built a water wheel, carousel, and pencil sharpener. Myra is one of the Lego Leopards team members, and she learned what renewable energy was. And what are some examples of that? Um wind power, solar power, and hydroelectric. Dylan Pape is also a part of the Lego Leopards. He says building everything was so much fun. Um, I'm a big fan of Lego, so, and I build a lot of things. So, I, so that's why I do Lego Club. The expo just goes to show that Legos can be used for entertainment and educational purposes, and every team received a unique award for their research. Alexandra.